Hi everyone, this is Ben with Dream Factory. In this short tutorial, I will show you how to set up, configure, and make some quick REST API calls to a SQLite database. So SQLite comes with Dream Factory. It's really easy to use. It's excellent for development and testing purposes, especially. Probably not going to use it in production, obviously, but a good way to start um, building an application really, really quickly and um, get something working. So the first thing you want to do is go into Services tab here, and you can click the Create uh, link on the side here. Service is going to be SQL DB. We'll call this, I'm going to make a little contacts table. So I'll give it an API name, SQL contacts, and just put a label in here so you know what it is. And you can put a description in if you want. I'll just repeat the label. And then in config, just select your drivers. You've got a bunch of different databases here. We're going to pick SQLite and a connection string will auto populate. You can give uh, a username and password to protect it. I'm just going to leave that blank. I'm going to go ahead and create my service. Now you can create as many of these SQLite databases as you want. They can have multiple tables. It's really just like SQL, except you know some things aren't supported, uh, like more complex capabilities of SQL. But it works really, really well for most um, uh, use cases. So what I'll do now is go ahead and create some schema. So I'm going to go and select my contacts DB. Obviously, I don't have any tables yet. It's an empty database. So what I'll do is upload some JSON. This is really easy. Click on the Upload JSON button. And when we say Upload JSON, what we really mean is uh, creating some tables so we have something to work with uh, for our API. The default here shows you the structure. So you've got some to-do uh, items. This is just an example. So we're not actually going to upload this. We're going to, I'm going to create just a couple of records here. So uh, I'll take this JSON structure resource and then an array of fields. We've got a contact. We're going to call the table contact, the label, all this good stuff. We'll give it an ID, a name, and a phone number. So we'll copy that in. And go ahead here, panel, copy it, and then we're going to upload it. You should see a success message if all goes well. You'll see, uh, if you see any syntax errors, they'll show up here. You'll see a little notation that something wrong, but that looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the browser window here. Make sure that our schema got saved. Contacts DB is there. Contact, and then you'll see. Now you can actually now manipulate the schema. You can add fields and that kind of thing uh, right directly in the UI, or you can upload more JSON if you like. So there you go. ID, name, and phone number. Very simple schema. So we have our SQLite connection. We have our schema defined, and now we want to go into the API docs and have a look. So in the API docs, all of your services show up here. You'll see our SQL contacts database. You'll see it's about 40 different API endpoints um, that are wild carded, they're parameterized. So for each table, you have a bunch of uh, CRUD operations you can do. You can manage schema, all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm just going to create a few records so we have some data. So I'll go to SQL contacts, underscore table, table name, and you'll see here in the documentation of Swagger, this is a create records method. So I'm going to post here. And this is really simple. You just put in a table name and a JSON body, and the JSON body will consist of some records for whatever table you put in. So I'm going to go here, our table's contact, and then I've got some records that I defined here. I'm just going to post them. So two records, Ben, phone number, Sarah, phone number. Again, just like the table, it's a resource array. So we'll put that in here. And you can expand this out so you can see a little bit better. And then you can leave these empty just for this short demo. Try it out. And you'll see that the request URL here, SQL contacts, table contact, and then we posted. And we got a 200 response back, which is good, which means those records posted. So if we go now, we should see some data come back. So what we'll do is we'll do a read instead of a write. We're going to go and get some records. We should see those two records that we put in. So table name contact, try it out, and those records are returned. And of course, if you go into data, you can select that SQLite database, select your table, set the service, and your two records are there. So this is a quick demo. It shows you how fast and easy it is to set up a SQLite connection, set up schema for a SQLite connection, which of course applies to really any database that you set up. It's the same way to do it. And then lastly, using some simple API calls to post data and get data 
and then looking at that data in the user interface. So that's it. Hopefully this is helpful and uh, check out all of our other tutorials online as well. Thanks.